Before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every single month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today I bring you secrets, hidden messages and much more within the world of Apex Legends. Now I know many of these kind of videos have been made in the past, even I myself have made a few already. This is why I plan to stick to fairly new secrets that I have discovered. So let's get into it. And firstly, secret weapon reload animations. Now a few weeks back, I learned of a secret reload animation for the Peacekeeper. I plan to cover it in a video, I just never had a video theme to actually feature it, where it would fit in. So today we will start with this. So the Peacekeeper, the beast of a shotgun, a fan favorite for sure. So it's to no surprise of mine that some of you may have already seen this. But for those of you who haven't, you will definitely think, yes, that is epic when you do come across it in actual play in the game. Now this reload animation happens via anything I can find in game which takes away the use of one of your hands. And I first saw this reload animation while a Mirage was using a decoy, as with the decoy you point your left hand. So reloading at the exact time with the Peacekeeper triggers this reload animation. Or even when you mantle and reload at the same time, or shoot the mantle, and although this is much harder to do, I've actually seen this myself. Now the reload animation reminds me of the model shotgun from the Call of Duty days or that famous Terminator scene where he's riding that motorcycle shooting and reloading with one arm, absolute epicness. Now the best way of seeing this actual animation in game is shooting on a tripwire. It basically happens every single time and it just looks so cool, it's unbelievable. Another secret reload animation recently found is one for the G7 Scout. Titanfall fans recognised it straight away from the G2A5 scout within Titanfall. Obviously this being an acknowledgement to the G7A5 rifle in Titanfall, but yet this reload animation is extremely rare and I've only seen it twice and that's through other people's videos and you'll see that on screen now and it makes you think of what other secret reload animations there are in the game. If you have seen one, let me know down below within that comments section what it was people. Okay, so let's move on to the hidden in-game messages which appear on weapons. We also have clues to new legends, as well as easter eggs and more. So let's start with a hidden message on the Peacekeeper shotgun skin, the Power 9000. So on the back of the weapon, we will see what looks to be numbers. Well, that's because that's exactly what they are. But those of you who know anything about binary recording, you will understand where I'm coming from. For those who don't know what they are, I'll briefly explain. Binary coding is a coding system which uses binary digits, 0 and 1 to represent a letter digit or any other character in a computer or other electronic device. So let's translate these numbers if we can. On screen now we have a translator. The code I pre written down, otherwise I'd be here all day trying to actually copy it. So let's see what this code says. Weirdly people, it translates into something a little sinister. The message of kill Pathfinder. Like really? Pretty crazy guys, don't you agree? Okay, so staying on the theme of hidden messages and easter eggs and weapons, on a few weapons we do see the name Watson. Now if you watched my previous video on Watson, who is a legend to come, this won't be new information to you, but if you haven't, take a listen. Now my theory, although not confirmed by Respawn in any way, it does make sense. So Watson, as you might know, is a legend coming to the game believe sometime within season 1. She has been a data mine name since data mines on Apex had been happening. So who is Watson and why is the name Watson on a few weapon skins? So if you have watched the cinematic trailer for Apex Legends, you will notice a newspaper within the first few seconds. Now this newspaper is hard to make out, but if you watch it in 4K and pause at the perfect time, you can actually read what's said here. The newspaper talks about Octane and more. But for this, and what we run about now, take note of this one said piece. Prime Director of Public Relations Jacob Young teased what's to come next month, which would at this time be March. He goes on to talk about a legend who goes by the name of Natalie Paquet, who is the daughter of the late Luke Paquet. Luke was the game's lead electronical engineer. So Natalie is coming to the game as a new legend. Her dad was an electronical engineer. We know a legend named Watson is coming to the game. She beholds an ability called the Tesla Trap. Tesla himself was also an electronical engineer. 
One form of study electronic engineers work with is something called photonic devices, which is a study around light and energy beams and so forth, also in relation to quantum physics. So this weapon which beholds the name Watson the Havoc is an energy weapon with the unique name where we see Watson on the back of it called Quantum Chaos. You see how things start to add up. So I believe, and I do go into greater detail in my video on this, that Watson is a code name her dad used, maybe for his company, maybe a nickname for something else, we don't know. But it's something of importance to him for sure. His daughter Natalie will enter the arena of Apex Legends using the same name, probably in search of answers as we don't know what happened to her dad or how he died or so forth. So there's a lot to be learned here. Also, by the way, people, we also see the name Watson and a few alternator skins too. And you know, alternator, we all know how they work. Okay, so let's move on from Watson. So there's Easter eggs and hidden messages on weapons too. Firstly, a little Easter egg on the Mastiff shotgun. The skin is called Warp Zone. And we can see the skin itself is set up like an old school controller or arcade machine with the arcade stick and buttons and so forth. We see this weapon has a screen which beholds what looks to be Mega Man. Absolutely crazy. But that's a Easter egg in itself. Moving on and onto the Mastiff skin, the Pest Controller. Now basically a reskin of the Warzone, button layouts a lot. But that small screen beholds something very interesting. It beholds what seems to be a tick, or people, a frag drone. Now recent data miners have found files on three new grenades. The interesting one here though is the frag drone. Much like the tick from Titanfall, these grenades explode into mini robotic crabby looking mofos and chase your ass around the map and blow up. The data mine can be seen on screen now. But could these have actually been in plain sight from day one? It seems that way people. Crazy. Next up we have a legendary character skin which showcases one of the world's most popular brands or logos. So you guys have all heard of Supreme. But what if I told you there is a legendary skin in game which says Supreme on it. But to find it, you'd basically have to play the game upside down. Yes, craziness. So if you check out Lifeline, she has a legendary skin called London Calling, which if we take a closer look at, we see it has a minute logo on the back end which just speaks gibberish if you try and read it. That's unless you look at it upside down. If you do, you will see it states nothing other than supreme people. Subliminal messaging right here, that is for sure. And there we have it guys, hidden in-game messages, secrets and easter eggs. Now the battle pass is basically here with season one. I expect there to be a load more of where these came from. Well, I hope guys. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, and I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, it really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legend videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.